All right. So it has definitely been some time since I have done one of these. It is time to do another cell phone collection update. Not in the same format we did it last time. That was super complicated and I don't want to go and do that again. So we're just going to do two parts, one for dumb phones and one for smartphones. All of the smartphones are currently down here. So there's that. We are recording on a new camera, the Canon EOS Rebel T7 with internal audio. Hopefully it works out. Um, but that's about as much as I need to say for the intro. Let's go ahead and get into all these phones. All right, so let's just kind of, we're just gonna kind of pick through them randomly. So we will start with this one. There we go, that's cool. Uh, yeah, that works. This is the Kyocera Dura XV Plus. Works perfectly fine. It's in nice shape. Um, haven't had it for that long. This is probably the nicest flip phone I have, which is a strange sentence to put into words. There you go. It's still pretty basic. So just a basic uh, Verizon flip phone, but it works. So there you go. This is one of my two LG Cosmos threes, sorry, LG Cosmos threes. This is the original one I had that is in pretty bad shape as you were probably able to tell. Um, Yeah, it's super scratched up. Keyboard actually works okay. So, yeah. All right, next phone is, I can go with one of the broken phones. This is the LG VX6100 that is in two pieces, screen snapped a couple years ago. Um, so the keypad does technically still get power, although I don't have the battery for it anymore, so I don't exactly know um, how that's going to work. Uh, but that's pretty, that's pretty much all you need to know about this one. Not really usable anymore. All right, next phone. This is the other, the other LG Cosmos 3. This one is in way better shape, like way better, clearly. Yeah. And everything actually works pretty well on this phone. The keyboard works pretty much fine. The hinge isn't like stiff at all. So I'd say this one is pretty good. No, I don't need to do that right now. So yeah, there's that one. All right, next phone is this guy. This is the Samsung Intensity 3. So this one is 
kind of all kinds of messed up. Um, it has a, um, it, the, none of the keys on the, just as I say that none of the keys on the front work, it decides to work. Um, but you can see that it's just a white screen. There's something internally screwed up I, or it could just be that it's Samsung intensity three and that it's a piece of garbage. Yeah, it's breaking pretty bad. See, so yeah, this thing is all kinds of messed up. Doesn't really work that well. Speaker functions, that's about as much as I know about this phone. Really didn't have much time to use it. All right, next phone is this. This is the Samsung SCH R375C. Or the Samsung Freeform 2, as a few people have told me. Let's see how it works. Perfectly fine. Just has bad, just has one shaved battery contact, and the battery is. The uh, water damage indicator is bled out. Um, yeah. All right, next phone is this. This is the BlackBerry Curve 9370. Again, works perfectly fine. No real issues with this one. Battery is a little is better than most of my other Blackberries. So yeah. Alright. Let's see what the next phone is. We'll go with this. Get it right here. This is the LG AX155 that is very screwed up. Um, it's in just a whole bunch of different pieces. I drop tested this one because it didn't work when I got it. The screen was completely dead. So that's about as much as you need to know with this one. Not exactly functional anymore. And I am not going to even attempt to put it back together. Because it's just pointless. So, yeah. Alright. This is the Sony Ericsson Vivaz, or Vivaz. I still don't know how to say it. I will never know. Um, but yeah, it works perfectly fine. The screen, the backlight is all kinds of screwed up. Uh, I don't really know what's going on. So sorry about the flickering in advance. The refresh rate probably kind of ate crap. So, yeah. Yeah, it just went even more black. But it technically works. And no, that's not any post-processing um, or color correction or anything. That is actually it doing that. I can't even see what's on the screen anymore. Like, I literally cannot even see it. You can see the Twitter logo and part of the status bar. That is literally it. Wow. That is messed up. Damn. All right. Shut your face. All right, what is the next phone? It will be this little guy right here. This is the Samsung SGH T105G. One of the more basic phones I have. But it works. Yeah, it's very, very basic. Yeah. All right. Next phone is the other Cosmos, the LG Cosmos 2. So this one is in pretty decent shape. I've had this one for a pretty long time now. And it's still 
relatively basic. Doesn't do all that much. But it's still kind of cool to have. Now I just want to get the original Cosmos and the touch. Alright, the next phone is one of my, yes, I mean it when I say this, 16 Blackberry Bold 9930s. It's ridiculous. So it looks like this one is dead. Um, most of these are probably going to be dead. I didn't charge any of them before this video because I just wanted to get this done. My last day is spring break and I'm not going to have time for a while to film this. So, yeah. Alright. This is actually one of my favorite um, flip phones I have. This is the LG VX8700. So you can see that it is like steel colored. It's basically, it is completely made out of metal. It's not like cheap plastic, which is super cool. It's one of the older ones, but yeah, it's a really cool phone. And is it dead? Maybe we're doing that today. Or maybe not. I guess I just decided to have a partial stroke there. I don't know what happened. But yeah, you can see, works perfectly fine. Still super basic, but such a cool phone. And yeah, it does that on the back screen every time it's open. So that's freaking awesome. Yeah. Alright, next phone. Guess we'll just get the bagged phones out of the way. This is the LG Venus. A very, very screwed up LG Venus. Uh, this one was a repair failure, like, big time. Um, so yeah, pretty unfortunate, but it's just what happened. So, yeah. Alright. Next phone is, let's move on to another bold 9930. Is this one on power? It does, but it is pretty much dead. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, it's a bold with a touch screen. Pretty self-explanatory, but pretty cool. Necessary to have 16 of them? No, but I do, and I'm not getting rid of them. <laughs> All right. This is the LG Octane. I've had this phone for a very long time. I think since the original collection update. So, pretty cool. It's in still pretty decent condition, I mean, besides the screen scratches right there. So yeah. And it flips open like that. So, pretty cool. This is the LG VX8300. Um, so this phone, it does work. Um, it just, I don't have a battery for it anymore. Um, and the phone has a lock code, so it really doesn't matter if it works anyways. Trying to dismiss a notification on my Apple Watch. Um, but uh, yeah, that's about where I am with this one. Um, yeah, just want to get a new battery so I have it slightly working and get a back cover. So it's a complete set. So, yeah. Right. 
Here is another bold 9930 in a holster case. This one does have some power. Not a whole lot though. Yeah, again, just basic. Woo. in there yeah all right this is the LG VX 5500 one of the two that I have this one has been messed up lately like this screen is just white so basically the same thing that the uh, intensity 3 is doing so that's not too good, um, and it's both screens too. It's not just it's it's not just the one screen. It's acting it's way worse than it was before. So I really don't know what's going on. It's not like it took a fall or anything. So yeah, I really don't know what happened. Um, that's about as much as I can say about this one. Moving on. Oops. This is the Motorola Barrage, which is an absolute brick. It does feel a lot thicker than the uh, Dura XV, but still pretty cool phone. I've had it for about two years now. I keep coming back to how reasonable the speakers are on this phone. I mean, for a flip phone, it's not bad at all. It's not the best, but not the worst. Yeah, no, we don't need to do that. So, yeah. All right. This guy. This is one of my two Samsung Intensity 2s. This one, as you can tell, is in the metallic blue which looks amazing, by the way. I love this color. Just look at how cool that looks. Yeah, that is awesome. This one, I think they're pretty much in, this, in about the same condition. This one did come with an aftermarket battery, which I swapped into my other Intensity 2, so. Yeah, I may change out that battery at some point. But uh, for now, that's where we're working. All right, the next phone is another Bold 9930. And this one is dead, but works perfectly fine. They all work fine. It's just they have crap batteries. So, yeah. This one is upside down and out of focus. There we go. This is the LG Rumor Reflex. So the power button on this phone is completely dead. So I have to quickly plug it into the charger and uh, unplug it. So uh, let's go do that real quick. So this is basically what I have to do here. So I just gotta grab a micro USB cable, it doesn't have to be the original one here. And then just quickly plug it in and unplug it. And that is about what I have to do every time to boot it up. The screen's very scratched as you can tell. I have the angle back to where I want it to 
just a little bit. There we go. And then moving on to this guy. This is the LG Accolade. Still really like this phone. I don't know why, it's just the design is nice to me. This phone really gives me no issues. So, that's just nice to see. Yeah. That was a pretty nice fumble there. <laughs> this is another bold 9930. That is, again, working with barely any battery life left. Um, but yeah, I mean, works just fine. So, yeah. Moving on. This is the LG CE110. This is my first phone ever. Um, so some problems have started to happen with this phone. So, um, a couple weeks ago from when I'm recording this, the, uh, it took a pretty hard fall and the hinge the uh, screen popped out of place. I was able to pop it back in, um, but it's definitely not very stable. So. And then just a couple days ago, the charging port completely stopped working. So I have to put the batteries in another phone to charge it, um, which sucks, but I'm gonna keep this phone as working for as long as I possibly can. So, yeah. All right, moving on. This is the Samsung Gusto, the original Gusto, which works perfectly fine with a garbage screen. Like it's just such a bad screen. So, yeah. But works perfectly fine. Not in the greatest shape, but not bad. All right. Moving on, we'll do one more bold 9930. This one again doesn't have a whole lot of battery life. As you can kind of tell from that. But, uh, yeah. Alright. Can I zoom that in a little bit? No, I really can't. Um, but moving on. This is the Samsung Gusto 2. Um, so this one is all kinds of messed up. It's pretty much stuck in a boot loop, and I think this ba the battery that's in it is dead right now. Um, so I can't show you that, but you've probably seen it before if you watch my older collection updates. Um, but yeah, it's stuck in a boot loop, and when it did work, it had a lock code on it that I didn't know. So there was basically no point in uh, me. There's, it's really not a huge deal that it is boot looping. So yeah. All right. Moving on to this guy. That is very neon. Wow. This is the New Mind F15. This phone is completely shot. Um, it has this giant crack in the hinge right there. I don't really know how that happened. I don't really remember it taking a giant fall. Um, but yeah, it's very, very screwed up. So, yeah. Not really a whole lot I can do with it. Besides, so put it on display, basically. This is cool. This is the Samsung Alias 2. Not Elias, it's the Alias. Um, so this phone is super freaking cool. So for starters, if you've never heard of the Alias series, it opens like a normal flip phone, but 
it has a two-way hinge, so it opens both ways. And the Alias 2 is even cooler than the regular Alias because it has an e-ink keypad. So I'll try to show you what I mean here. Just watch it closely. Did you see that? That was freaking cool. So yeah, absolutely love that about this phone. Otherwise, the phone works perfectly fine. It's just pretty basic otherwise, but yeah, love that novelty. This is one of my two Sanio SCP-5300s. This one is in better condition compared to the other one. It has an actually functioning hinge. It has a functioning hinge, doesn't get random voicemail alerts, um, and it's just, it's just not scratched up big time. So, yeah. Uh, here is the other Sanio. This is the Sanio PM8200. This phone's pretty messed up. It has a messed up power button. Sometimes you can get it to work. There we go. Yeah. Pretty basic. Not really a whole lot going on with this one. So, yeah. Also, the uh, outside display does not work, but most likely useless anyways. Let's move on to a, another bold 9930. And this one is dead. And another bold 9930. This one have any power? No, it does not. All right, moving on to this guy. There we go. This is the LG Extrovert. This one's actually pretty cool. I've wanted this one for a long time. No, not just because of the black and red, um, but I just always really like this phone. I don't know why people label it as a pile of garbage. I don't see it though. And it acts a lot more like a smartphone compared to other Verizon dumb phones. So it's pretty cool, actually. So yeah, I like it. This is also very neon, Jesus. This is one of my two Motorola Razors. This one is the standard V3. on T-Mobile. I mean, what's a better indication to tell that it's on T-Mobile than the super freaking hot pink? <laughs> so, yeah. But it's still a super cool phone. I love it. I've always liked the Razer. So, yeah. Grab another bold here. This one does have some power. Not a lot of it though. So, yeah, there's that. Here is another one. This one is on low battery. kind of fishing through these here to get to the other phones. Again, running on fumes. 
Is this one cracked? Mm, no. One of them is cracked. I can never remember which one it is. I might have already grabbed it. Yeah, I did. But whatever. This is another pretty cool flip phone. This is the LG Wine. My only phone on US cellular at the moment. So pretty cool. So yeah, it does have some battery issues. Um, this battery is a little bit swollen, but it still is working. So I'm gonna keep it going for now. Just as long as it doesn't blow up. <laughs> And it has a flip sound. Kind of cool, actually. This is the Samsung Flight 2. Not exactly the most easygoing phone, so the lock button is completely shot. That does not work at all. Um, it had a little bit of a stroke the other day um, when I put the wrong battery in it. I mean, I see why it had a stroke, but yeah, that was slightly annoying. It's got like a basic form of TouchWiz. So, kind of cool, but very slow. <laughs> so, yeah. So, I accidentally cut off the clip of this bubble here. Um, but yeah, it works. It's running on very low battery right now. Um, so yeah. This is the Motorola W385 that is very screwed up. The back plate does not stay on at all. It's probably because the battery is like all kinds of swollen and like jutting out. Um, it's in really bad shape. Um, but it works, kind of. <laughs> It has a very, very bad battery, but it works. <laughs> this is the Samsung Blackjack 2. Which again, works. Not the fastest thing in the world, I'll tell you that. It's actually really slow. But it works. <laughs> That's a pretty cool phone. it does any of that okay 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 yeah we don't need to flash up that it's just a calendar appointment it's not uh, anything else another bold this one is dead here is the other Samsung intensity 2 I mean, the speaker sounds slightly different compared to, compared to the other one. I don't know what it is, but not a big deal. Grab another bold. That is dead. This is the Samsung Trance.
almost press the record button again because I'm stupid. But it works. Just has a lot of lock code that I can't figure out. So it's here for novelty, literally. Probably down to the last row or two of phones. There's quite a few rows already, but we will move on here once I get the legs stable to this. This is the Motorola W418G. The fake Motorola, as I like to call it, for obvious reasons, obvious enough. I mean, it doesn't look like a Motorola. Like, if you compare it to the Razer, pretty obvious. And even if you compare it to something as crappy as the W385, yeah, it's not really a real Motorola. So, yeah. This is the very screwed up um, Kyocera Energy. Um, I tried to take it apart and it kind of felt it kind of fell apart on me so it's like there's parts that are definitely not in the right places so I'm still trying to figure it out it's a puzzle basically so yeah but I did have it working at one point so I didn't realize that I didn't even focus that properly there we go yeah. This is the LG 306G. Working perfectly fine. another bold. This is the last bold. No, there's one more. This one is dead. This is the Blackberry Curve 8520. That works. Also, it doesn't have a great battery. But it works, and that's really all I care about. <laughs> This is the other um, SCP-5300. That works. This one has a very screwed up hinge. I think, it, I think part of it popped, so it's like super wobbly. So they never really register when it's closed that well. And it's pretty scratched up, as you can probably tell. So yeah. All right, kick the tripod. This is the Kyocera Marble. Um, this, I don't have a battery for this one, but it does work. Um, so yeah. Hopefully I can get a battery for it my only phone on Virgin Mobile, so kind of cool. Alright, I grabbed a couple more that I ended up missing. Um, I usually keep my phones pretty organized, so I don't start losing them in places. Um, move on to the last bull, 9930. That is dead. The UT Starcom CDM 7076 it has a very screwed up battery, um, but I did get it to charge finally, so that worked out.
so yeah. Here is the other Motorola Razor. This is the V3M. So this is the Verizon version in a very nice looking silver. Kind of a messed up speaker, but it works. It's in decent shape too. So, yeah. And the last of the phones that I actually have working is the other um, VX5500, which actually doesn't have a messed up display or messed up displays. So, yeah. And then the three others that you see here are vintage phones that I don't have charters for, so I don't know if they work. We have the Motorola V60i, which is in pretty good shape, and I'm sure I would be able to get this to work. Um, again, just has a very weird charger, so I don't know. Kind of focusing on that. We have the Nokia 5165, the banana phone, <laughs> literally. Um, so yeah, don't have the Nokia barrel charger or whatever charger that takes. I don't know if it's all these pins. And the Nokia 2190E, which is the oldest phone in the collection from 1997. So yeah. Pretty cool though. So that is about it for all of the dumb phones. So make sure to tune in tomorrow to catch the smartphones. And that's about it for me in this one. So I will see you guys tomorrow with all of my smartphones.